I'm Mr. Lund, and this is the Rat Nest Demo. Using sodium peroxide, which is a very strong oxidizing agent, which means it readily gives off oxygen atoms. Uh, it also readily will take the electrons from various species. Sodium peroxide comes in these very tightly sealed cans of metal for good reason. Uh, we don't want it to react with any of the water vapor that's in the air, but more importantly also, when it does oxidize and it gives off the oxygen gas, it produces a lot of heat. If you're producing oxygen gas and a lot of heat, well, those are two of the three things you need for a fire. The only thing that you're missing is fuel. It comes in this nice solid pellet form, yellow to color. Two moles of sodium peroxide will equally react with two moles of water. When this happens, you're going to produce sodium hydroxide, so you'll have a very caustic solution when you're done, so safety should be taken into account for that and plenty of oxygen gas as well. Another thing we could mention is the amount of heat that has evolved from this. And if you are producing oxygen gas and you're producing heat, well, all you need left is the fuel and you have a fire. This is the Rat's Nest Demo and it's going to be a way of showing you how you can potentially start a fire with water. So for this demo, what I decided to use is my kindling. It looks adequate like a rat's nest and something that every classroom seems to have is plenty of pencil shavings. So we'll put these pencil shavings down here to develop our rat's nest, and then just sprinkle a little bit of sodium peroxide on the top. Just a small scoop from your scoopula should do the trick. Now the only thing left to do is add a little bit of water to get her started. Keep in mind, I would never seriously burn rats out of a rat's nest, that's just mean. But I'll definitely show my students the strong power of an oxidizing agent. Mm -hmm. 